All right, here's all of the uh, lineups for the shows coming up here. First off, a two-hour documentary from Vice on former chairman and CEO Vince McMahon will debut later this month. They most reported the nine lives of Vince McMahon will are on Tuesday, October 18, at 8 Eastern, as a lead-in for that night's AWA-focused edition of The Tales of the Territories. Oh, boy. What a, what a great day for this to air. A day where, in fact, we have got both NXT and AEW going head-to-head. Oh, no. Oh, God, that's right. That's their head-to-head oh, day. No. That's right. Uh, Major League Baseball. Do me yours. a favor, bloke. Set that DVR. I'm not, <laughs> these numbers ain't looking good. <laughs> oh, man. And, you know, as an aside, Major League Baseball is in the playoffs right now. The NHL season has officially started today. Obviously, basketball is going to be kicking off here pretty soon. So prepare for a lot of uh, moving around when it comes to the schedules. All right, here's the lineups, everyone. Did I mention, by the way, October 18th, 8 o'clock p.m., Vice TV? I'll be reminding you regularly. Eastern I don't, time. I don't need this thing doing uh, 300 viewers. I prefer it did a little better than that, but who cares now? This is, this is going to be rough. If this does a good number, this does a good number. I want a little bit of credit. That's some strong competition. AEW oh. and NXT. And you know those, you know those two shows are going to be booking that night? What? Bro, everything. <laughs> everything. Neither side wants to lose. There's going to be main roster guys all over NXT. AEW's going to have title matches. I mean, they're throwing everything at the wall. So, Look, I know Sal- Brian Solomon's on this. I know Dave Meltzer is on this. But can we really thank you for the house if it ends up doing a good number? Actually, now that I think about it, wouldn't those shows air 9 to 11? And this is 8 to 9? I was 8 to 10. 8 to 10. God, I hope I'm in the first hour. <laughs> All right. Rampage tonight. We have the uh, Death Triangle defending the trios titles against John Silver, Alex Reynolds, and 10. We got Josh Woods and Tony Nese versus the Varsity Blondes. Madison Raid and Sky Blue versus Ty Mello and Anna J. John Moxley, Wheeler Yuta, Claudio versus Roosh and Private Party, as well as Jose, the assistant. <laughs> I better, yeah, I, I better do better numbers than that bloke <laughs> coming up on Tuesday. Uh, A.W. Battle of the Belts follows immediately afterwards, in which we have Jade Cargill versus Willow Nightingale. We have the Gates of Agony versus FTR for the Ring of Honor Tag Team titles. We have Trent Beretta versus Pac for the All-Atlantic title. So two hours of Rampage coming up tonight. Also tonight, SmackDown. For two hours. We have got Zelina. She's going to be back soon. I don't know if it'll be tonight, but Zelina's on her way back. This has not been advertised, these first two things. Zelina should be back soon, maybe tonight. And Legato Del Fantasma is expected to be a SmackDown team. I don't know if they will be there in person tonight, but I would not be surprised if you saw a vignette for them on the show tonight. We have a face-to-face with Roman Reigns and Logan Paul. We have the Intercontinental title on the line. Gunther will face Sheamus. You seem to say that with a little bit of a smirk on your face What, there. Logan and Roman? <laughs> Logan and God, Roman. God, their last, that last Logan Paul segment was an atrocity. Yeah, at least we'll get Paul. We had Paul last time. It was still an atrocity. I well, that's, I know. And we have Solo Sokoa versus Ricochet. And, you know, i got to tell you guys, you look at all those, those matches on AEW Rampage. And there is a match on SmackDown where the last time these two men were in the ring together, it got five stars. So there's a possibility that the best match tonight is going to be on SmackDown. On a night where we have SmackDown, Rampage, Battle of the Belts, and Bound for Glory. So we'll see what kind of time they give him, what they allow them to do. Wouldn't be surprised if Sheamus won that title either. Now I, That yes. would be interesting leading into tomorrow. We've also got the Bound for Glory show. Brian Myers will be defending the uh, Impact Media Championship against a TBD. Josh Alexander versus Eddie Edwards for the Impact title. Jordan Grace versus Masha Slamovich for the Impact, t- or the uh, women's title. The uh, Knockouts. Knockouts. They're knockouts. That's right. 
Honor No More, Matt Taven and Mike Bennett versus Motor City Machine Guns for the tag team titles. Mike Bailey versus Frankie Kazarian for the X Division title. Mia Yim versus Mickey James. If Mickey James loses this match, she will retire from professional wrestling. Oh. And I'm not saying that if she retires, she won't come back, but... You know, these things mean less than they used to. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I know. I know some guy who keeps coming back and trying his hand at this wrestling thing and keeps losing tag matches. Can't remember his name though. How dare you? Me, uh, we've got uh, Chelsea Green and Deanna Parazzo versus Jessica and Taya Valkyrie for the Impact Knockouts tag titles, and a Call Your Shot Gauntlet match, a twenty wrestler intergender gauntlet. Battle Royal. That is Bound for Glory coming up here tonight. And then tomorrow, Extreme Rules. Liv Morgan and Ronda Rousey. Extreme Rules for the SmackDown Women's title. Matt Riddle and Seth Rollins in a fight pit match with Daniel Cormier as the guest referee. Drew McIntyre and Karrion Cross in a strap match. Bianca versus Bailey and Io Sky for the Raw Women's title. Edge and Finn Balor for the uh, it's an I quit match. Yeah, I quit. That's a stip. And then the Brawling Brutes will be facing Imperium in a good old fashioned Donny Brook match. Might be the match of the weekend right there, no matter what the promotion is. Well, it, I mean, if 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 Gunther and Sheamus have a match the same as they had at that pay per view, good luck anything beating it this weekend. That would mean one of those matches I just read would have to be five stars or better. That's a high bar. So, there you go. It's a lineup. In, how do you think they're bringing back, in your gut right now, Well, how do you feel that, as though they bring back Bray Wyatt? Because there's been a lot of speculation that, okay, we're going to go ahead and cash in on the White Rabbit thing or do at least a little bit of a, a bigger impact thing at the pay-per-view. Could you see him get involved in a match like a match with Edge where he helps Finn Balor do something to to cause havoc? Or do you bring him in against somebody else in a different type of scenario? You know, you bring him in against somebody who's not on the card or do you have do you put some impact on something that takes place tomorrow in Philadelphia? Well, I'm trying to think about who this bloke would even feud with. Well, that's the thing. Because, listen, I don't know if he's coming back as a baby face. I mean, he's going to get a baby face reaction when he comes back. So maybe you could have a jolly old fiend, and he's going to come back and go after a a heel. Dexter Loomis? <laughs> well, I, mean, he, that's a... <laughs> I mean, he could be he could be a heel, in which case, well, who does he who is he going to feud with? Drew McIntyre? I mean, you could do the, the uh, carrying cross Drew McIntyre match and... You know, Drew McIntyre, I, I think they really want to get this Karrion Cross going. So I, I could see Karrion Cross beating Drew after some sort of interference from the returning Fiend. I could see them doing that. I don't know if that's what they're going to do. And then Drew McIntyre could feud with the Fiend. That poor bloke. <laughs> but again, I don't know. I don't know what the Fiend, I don't know if he's going to do magic. If he comes back, and by the way, a correction, uh, that match on SmackDown that I talked about was not with Sheamus. It was with Kevin Owens. And uh, although, I was, match. although I was wrong, let me tell you something. Bray White with no Hocus Pocus versus Sheamus, that'd be a oh, banger. Yeah. So anyway, Good. this guy can do hard-hitting, you know, good matches. He doesn't need to do the magic in Hocus Pocus. And, you know, Drew McIntyre, if you've watched, if you've watched a lot of Drew McIntyre, I don't think this bloke likes a lot of magic in Hocus Pocus. So that would actually be a good first feud to to kick off a new fiend who has the same mask, character, everything, but doesn't do magic. I'd be fine with that. Well, and that, you know, if you wanted to throw Edge into the mix, because we already know what Edge's feelings are on Hocus Pocus, po Hocus Pocus and magic and Hocus all that stuff. What? <laughs> Poca Hoka? That's uh, some, some Pocahontas Hocus and whatnot. Hocus Pocus. So with that Hocus Pocus, we know Edge doesn't like it. So that's why I can see maybe him splitting off if they decide to turn AJ Styles, have an AJ Styles Edge feud or something like that, leading into a big match at, at Survivor Series. Could definitely see something like that. And then Drew McIntyre really in some ways would be the perfect person for him to come back with. Now, I don't know if they want to do that because obviously you got 
do you want to be done with Karrion Cross and Drew McIntyre right away? I guess maybe you could be, and if you could, that's probably the right guy to put him in with. And again, you just hope that there's not as much hocus pocus and there's a lot more fisticuffs and big meaty men slapping meat because Kevin Owens, Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, Bobby, anybody that goes out there and thumps, I mean, that's really, again, that stuff is always going to get over. That stuff is always going to be what people want to see in general hey, more than the magic. Hey, listen, speaking of magic, speaking What's of that? magic, this person says he'd love to see me and Edge go and uh, go crazy at a magic show with anger. I like magic. I used to be a magician. Huh? You see this? See this coin? Watch. Blow, Mike. Whoa! Amazing. I like magic. I don't like magic on my wrestling show. You know what? I quit. See you next week, everybody. I'm going to make this guy disappear. We'll be right back. Wrestling Observer Live. What part do you love about this job, Granny? Nothing. When you when you irritate me, <laughs> you make me mad. I, I guess seeing, seeing you guys. When you week. needle me. Quit yeah. talking over me. Sorry. If Granny, this person asks, could leave only one thing in her will for Brian. <laughs> 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 what would it be? Rufus versus Roman Reigns, 2016. Rufus, Rufus on barricade. Rufus comes back, drops Reigns on the top rope. Rufus has a temper tantrum because only two count. Do you know that we put a clip of you on the internet last week? And these people on the internet are so dumb... That they thought that we hired an actor to play you. No. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, eh, forget yeah. about it. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo, and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.